episode 14 of The Journeyman, and I know I've said I've been struggling a little bit for Russian puns, so thankfully, someone on Twitter has reached out, and today's episode is called Only Fools Ruzin. Hey everyone, welcome along. It's episode number 14 of The Journey Man. I hope you're well. Uh, I'm Tony, as you know. Uh, I hope you've been enjoying the series so far. Um, big, big, big news, as you can see on the screen here. We are going to potentially get a new stadium. We, of course, if you're new to the channel, we are Arsenal Zhezhinsk in the Belarusian Highest League. That's who we're managing. We're about to start my third full season in charge of the club uh, and it's big news a new stadium because um people of course who've been watching the series so far will know we've been bleeding money um like we're basically any gate receipt we've got is going straight back uh, in towards uh, paying uh, landlords and rent as well and uh, it turns out i've done a bit of digging and i maybe should have done this uh, previously the reason that's happened is because we've been ground sharing so we've lost a load of money uh, basically renting someone else's ground so we might now actually be able to travel back take the club back to Zhezhinsk uh, from I think we're playing in Minsk at the minute so um, so yeah so we've got that to look forward to uh, moving on but as I say we've already started the season um, if you're new by the way to the channel welcome and um, get yourself subscribed turn your notifications on uh, if you need to play catch up go and watch some of the previous videos get yourself caught up to speed uh, but we are as I say starting the season i've played some games off camera already so we're gonna have a couple of matches uh, in this episode we'll play um shakhtar uh, soligorsk and we're also going to play smorgan in this episode as well so where we are things are fine fifth position so far six games played um like as, as with last season we're expected to go down so uh, really we've started the season pretty well right that's what i'm obviously very excited about we'll go we'll have a look at some of the results we've got so far look at that greens three wins already this season um we started off with a cracking four nil win uh, on the opening day and I'm, it was one of those ones where the result was that good i almost regretted not starting this episode uh obviously with that match because like, that would be a brilliant way to start uh, episode 14 at a four nil win but you know you can you kind of never predict you know what's going to happen on camera and what's going to happen off camera i thought you know let's get some games played and see what the team's like bed some of the new signings in um and you know we'll, we'll see what's what so four nil win uh on the first game against uh Smolovici. then we played uh belshina uh, another two nil win at that point i was like hang on this is like six goals in two games we've not conceded i was i was desperate to not get myself carried away um, but Brinchup was making it a little bit difficult to not get carried away. Like, he's just continued that fantastic run of form he had last season, straight into this season, and he's still just banging the goals in. Um, Mint gave us a bit of a shot there. Obviously, took the lead there, uh, which we weren't really expecting. Um, but then, you know, we pulled back, which was good. You know, it's a sign of a, a sign of sort of a bit of mental stability. Brinchuk again, of course, got on the score sheet. Um, I'm, after last season when he got you know crazy amount of goals things about sort of I'm expecting him to get maybe 20 possibly this season like the current rate he's scoring here you know 20 seems very very easy uh, attainable target for him um and then you know then the breast match unfortunately kind of just turned pretty weirdly like we were one nil up things were going fine then uh, they get a penalty and it's like right okay and then it just all went really downhill to be honest and i think i think 4-1 was maybe a little overstretching it personally but you know it was one of those things you can't really sort of start the season that well and then go oh it's going to continue going well there's going to be hiccups in the road as i say you know we're expected to finish near the bottom so you know hopefully we're not going to make too much of a habit of losing uh four goals in a match uh matt yash by the way they're getting himself in on the score sheet which was very very interesting um we actually spun a four four goal uh result round this one four one look at that bridge up there getting in uh fed yannon by the way keep your eyes on him he's he's again been a cracking player of course you saw him last season um we're kind of expecting big things again from him sarah Maka there with a nice little uh tap in almost after the ball comes back from uh, Abramovich Abramovich lovely ball through there for Brinchuk he just one touch bang you know that's 3-0 up in 20 minutes like we're, we're flying at this point like you can't help but be 
uh, excited by the way they were playing. Uh, Golovenko, a little bit of rush of blood to the head there, came charging out, probably didn't need to. Um, that made it 3-1. Then, however, Brinchuk, look at that lovely little deft header uh, over the goalkeeper. That made it 4-1, and that's pretty much brought us to where we are uh, at this point. Now, before, of course, we get started on the game, I have mentioned there's been players in and players out. Uh, of course, we've had pre-season, so we've done a little bit of tweaking on the squad. Um, and this is sort of what you need to look at, really. Um, so what have we got here? We've got uh, Artem Dilyevsky. Again, some of the pronunciations will take a bit of time to get used to. Ar Artem Dilyevsky's come in as a centre-half. because uh, We need a bit more um, a bit more cover there, I thought. Um, obviously, we have also brought in Eugene Simbaliuk, who is a, a Ukrainian. Because, of course, we're allowed to have Ukrainians. In fact, we're allowed to have foreign players in this league. Uh, which we weren't, of course, allowed to have when we were back down there in the lowest league. Um, Artem uh, Derbensev is in as well. He's a he's a striker. We needed a bit of cover up front uh, in case you know um, Brinchuk gets injured or, or Matias. So he's come in. Like obviously we've not paid for anybody again. Obviously everyone's coming up freeze. Uh, Pavel uh, Shepelovic uh, is a young goalkeeper, 21. Just you know we've had games <laughs> when we first started when we had three goalkeepers on the bench. So let's you know just try and get. Uh, some players here who might actually play if needed to happen. Uh, Ilya Valenko is in there. He's a right back. He's okay. Uh, might give us a bit more cover. Uh, Viktor Shushkevich. Shushkevich. That's probably close enough. Um, he's going to play attacking right mid. Again, looks looks all right, to be honest. Coming from Minsk. And then another right back here, Dmitry Belko, who, again, is probably um, he's probably going to be our starting right back. I'd imagine, um, you know, he, he's got probably better, probably better physicals uh, than Valetko, so we'll probably start with him um, going forward. But, you know, we'll, we'll wait and see what's what. Um, in terms of players out... Uh, Sofian has gone. Yeah, you know, we said we were going to bring him in last year and he didn't quite really sort of do what we need to do. Uh, the main, uh, you know, the main player we've lost really is Alexi Smirnov, sadly. Um, our well, probably our best defender. Uh, we got 10 grand for him, so I'm pretty happy with that. You know, it's money at the end of the day, which of course we do desperately need, but it's a shame to see him go. Um, and he's gone to Minsk as well, so he's not, he's not really gone anywhere where, um, He's not gone to a different league, essentially, as I was hoping for. He's actually gone to to a team in our league. Uh, in fact, interestingly enough, um, I think it was Granite, uh, who have just been relegated, put ten grand bid in for him. So they were trying to take him back down to the to the first division, which uh, unfortunately didn't agree with the deal. So we end up having to sell him to Minsk instead. So uh, this is the game that we're going to look at today. So it's Shakhtar Sologorsk. Uh, in terms of lineups, Golovenko, Belko, Kapsky, Zelevsky. Bazaria, Simbaluk, Lamako, Saramaka, Fedyanin, Abramovich, and Brinchuk. That's uh, the starting eleven. Uh, Vitali Ruzin, who you know the episode is named after today, is on the bench. And I think we're going to say go and carry on from what you did last time because you know four one win last time out. Keep the morale high is what we need to do. We need to try and keep the morale high. Keep the wins ticking over. Um, Anything more than a point is fine um, in this sort of fixture because they're a decent side, Shakhtar, and it's going to be a bit of a test, to be honest. So, especially early season as well, when things are starting to bed in, like that, for example, you know, we're still not um, aware of defending marauding fullbacks, apparently. So, that's a bit frustrating. Um, he gets so much space, doesn't he? Look at that. It's gone all the way across. Nobody's tracked him. I mean, look how narrow our, our defenders are. All of our four defenders are just not even a goal. Like The, the width of the goal um, on the six-yard box. But, right, never mind. Okay, that's an... Potentially throws the, the plans out the window. Um, three minutes in and we're already chasing the game. So... We might, might need to think on our feet a little bit and see what happens because I'll level you. I wasn't expecting going a goal down after two minutes. Um, I mean, we've started defensive as well. That's probably even more frustrating to be honest. And we just about managed to get... Um, that's headed over the bar. We're a little bit sort of panicky. I think we're panicky. Um, 
That's not what you want. You want you want clear heads. You want calm heads. You want players to put their foot on the ball. You know, I brought Symbalik in because um, just to do that very very job, just put your foot on the ball, slow the player down in the midfield. Uh, Lamaco, you know, we would expect him to be a bit a bit of creative player. Um, I'm wondering whether or not the fact that Kapski's at centre back is the problem because we obviously played him at right back last season and he can play centre back and he can play a defensive midfielder but I'm wondering whether or not that's possibly part of the issue um, or whether it's just the fact that it was a really well taken goal and we've just got to deal with it which you know is is possible um, Dolyevsky's a little bit nervous Symbalik's frustrated Saramaka's getting a bit anxious well we'll see I think yeah, we'll bring Zabritsky on for Dolevsky. And we'll also... Are we going to make another change? Maybe. I don't know. We're not really playing that badly, but we're not really creating anything either. Let's uh, stick to Shenzkovic on, and I'll see if I can use this match to learn his name. Chuskovic, I'm going to go with. And slight change of mentality, I think, as well. See if that helps. See if that helps. Let's go for it. You know what I mean? What's the worst that can happen? We're already a goal down. We're already a goal down. At least at least have a go in the second half, lads. That's what we need to do now. Let's see what we've got. Because I don't mind losing 1-0. As long as we have a goal, that's the main thing, isn't it? Got to have a goal. Like, first half, one shot. Not really good enough, to be honest. Second half, we're an hour in. They've had eleven shots. We've only had two shots still, so we're not really, we're not really trying enough. I don't think either that or Shakhtar are just a lot better than we are. Abramovich with the corner in, headed over the top. Unfortunately, I didn't even get excited about that. It was wasn't really uh, going to sort of challenge the goal properly at all. Nice little short free kick there. Has that pulled us out? Has that caught us offside a bit? Off sort of offside. Oh, that's... we've just about managed to get away with one there, haven't we? But it's still not finished. It's still not over. Oh, wait. No, no. No, it's fine. Offside flags up. That closes that little phase of play. But we've uh, we've got a bit lucky. We've got a bit lucky there, I think. They would, they would probably have been expecting to have finished that. And if that had fallen to us, I'd be really upset. If actually, this, this has fallen to us. Brinchuk. Oh, oh, come on. This is bread and butter for Brinchuk. Um, never mind. Never mind. We'll make another little change there. Debretsk, uh, De, what's it, what, how's he pronounced it? Debretsev. Um, let's come on for Fed Yannin. And... Can't believe Brinchuk's missed that. That would have been that's like in his wheelhouse as well. There you go. One nil. Uh, I suppose uh, like you know, looking at the stats there, we've been played off the park really. Absolutely played off the park. So we can't really complain with one nil. I think all I can really complain with is the actual performance for our players. So that is something a little bit different but let's tell them that you know we're not going to complain about their performance i'll just sort of grumble under my breath and we'll let you guys know that i'm not happy but to their faces then they really really tried um that looks like a decent game actually gordea versus vet bitsk um five three so right we need to change it up one nil defeat against soligorsk smorgan i expect a better performance against them they're down in 13th. We're in 7th. What's that? Five points clear of them. Yeah, let's see if we can get something happening here. Right, okay. So Kaborda's in. Zabritsky's in. Delevsky's still in. Uh, Shiznetsky's in as well. And that's pretty much all the changes we've done, actually, to be honest. So, um, yeah, Kapsky's on the bench, um, along with Symbalik and Belko. Uh, other than that, same lineup, to be honest. Um, because I guess we're kind of just going to try and get a bit of stability, I think. Um, I think that sort of seems to be what we need to work with, really, is get a bit of stability, get the morale 
of the players up. Bit of cohesion. We are sort of slightly tweaking tactics a little bit. Um, slightly different formation to last year, but ultimately it's all about just the players getting out there and actually performing. And hopefully, hopefully they'll they'll do well. You know, we need to see how they get on uh, in this match because we need to bounce back from the Shakhtar result. Even if we get a draw, like uh, and again, you know, this is the thing we know. We know what we're expected at this, at this level. Like you know, it's not going to be easy. Brinchuk has turned them on the halfway line. He's just powering through. Oh, that would have been an outstanding goal had he got that. That would have been amazing. Um, but yeah, no, it, like we know, we know where we are in this division. You know, we're not going to be pulling up any trees. Um, I think we're going to be safe. I think we've got enough about us to stay up. But you know, where we go after that, who knows? Um, so you know we're gonna live, we're gonna win some, we're gonna lose some, and you know we might get some draws as we go along as well. Um, but ultimately, it's just about trying to get some decent performance in. If we can get a bit of a cup run as well. That'll be quite handy. Um, you know, but as I say, ultimately, it's a case of great effort, but unfortunately, it's just gone over the bar there. Um, some of that angles, it makes it look like the goalkeeper touches it over the bar, and I'm like sort of going, is that a corner? But it's not a corner. Um, it's just a header over the top, but. As I say, like get a decent get a decent performance in, and then at least we can feel um, feel better going forward. Um, fortunately, Delevsky's picked up a knock, so Kapsky's gone to centre half again. I don't, I don't really think Kapsky at centre half is the right is the right idea. But I've kind of auto clicked on that really without even thinking and sticking maybe um, Zabritsky in or something. But never mind. Bryn chucks onto that one. <laughs> He's tucked it in. Yes, he has. What a goal by Brinchuk. I mean, it's it's route one, isn't it? It's absolutely route one. Um, Kapsky with the ball over the top. Brinchuk still got a lot to do. Gets in front of the defender. And then it looks like it's from the outside of the foot. Uh, beats the goalkeeper at the near post. So, cracking goal. Um, not, you know, it's not going to be one of those ones that wins goal of the month. Um, but... It's a great ball. It's a great ball from Kapsky when you think about it. You know, he's just put his foot straight. He's spotted that uh, Brinchup can make the run. And as I say, gets in front of the defender. That's the first thing. So he knows that if he gets in front, he's going to at least get get either a shot away or he's going to get fouled. So very, very clever play from Brinchuk. Puts us 1-0 up at half time. And yeah, I think it looks like we just about deserve it, really. We've got more possession both had three shots we've actually had one on target which has ended up in the net and they've not had a one on target so um possession 53 47 so it's not particularly like no one's dominating the game um, and in terms of xg 0.26 and 0.12 nobody's doing anything you know um so yeah so we'll take that we'll take that uh as we headed into half time um, Fed Yannan is looking a bit tired now. So it's Lamako, Saramaka, Bramovic. Like all the attacking players are starting to look really jaded. Um, oh, Kozlov with there now. <sighs> There's me saying all the attacking players look tired, and it's the defenders who've switched off, isn't it? Like whoever's gone for the header there, he, he's jumped up for it and he's missed it, and then Kozlov's just. Slotted the ball straight in past Golovenko. Giving Smorgan the equaliser. Well, there you go. You need to practice set plays. I get told this all the time. I need to practice set plays. And yeah, they defending set plays is probably something we need to do off camera to get a bit more. Um, cause that's a soft goal to concede when you think about it, isn't it? Like they've not really had an attempt and then I've just let that happen from there. So we'll do a slight tactical change, I reckon, maybe sort of like load up on the right hand side. Um oh, I can't make changes because we need to keep under twenty ones on. Am I gonna go am I gonna go fancy? Right, let's see if we can change up some tactics here. I need to make a, a bit of difference, so let's move around. So we were playing four, two, three, one. You know, four two two. Nah, let's make this even more exciting, right? Let's go three five two, I think, or three two two. So three two three, like yeah, so three five two in it. Um, 
let us go with that. Let's see how that works. Then we like to see we've got a little bit more uh, focus of player down the right hand side because it looks like their left back. Um, <laughs> sorry, I had to go uh, left back. Uh, looks like their left back is struggling a little bit and not particularly uh, happy. So if we can put a bit of pressure on him, then he might. Uh... <laughs> oh, hang on, that's a penalty. A penalty. We've got a penalty. They've got a red card. And it's Caborda is going to step up and. Oh. Right, I know that I've been told to work set plays. I need to practice penalties as well, don't I? This happens every day. What on earth was that? <laughs> what was that from Shizdetsky? <laughs> oh dear. Um, right, that's a shame then. Caborda stepped up. He was confident. He was very, very confident with it. But... Good save by the keeper. I mean, they're down to 10 men now as well, so we really need to try and make these last eight minutes count. Great ball in, headed away, unfortunately. Out as far as Lamaco. What are you going to do, mate? Shiznetsky out to Kaborda. Good ball in, and it's Saramaka. Oh, he's got the flag up. Oh. Can't believe it. Can't believe it. I mean, it probably was offside, but... Even still, it's a great ball through. What are we going to do? Can we turn the screw? Can we turn the screw? We've only got a few minutes left. Come on. Time's ticking away, boys. What are you going to do in the last couple of minutes? Are we going to get three points? Are we just going to have one point? Is that all we're going to do? It looks like... It looks like that's it. That's it. <sighs> one all. I mean, I said at the start of the match I'd have taken one all, but I guess when you've when it's one all and you've got a penalty and you against ten men at that point, I mean anything happened with the penalties, but yeah, it would have been yeah. I, I think we should have won that. I think we should have won that. I hope we don't look back on that at the end of the season. I think that's two points dropped that actually becomes really important. I don't think it will, but uh, you know. It's early enough in the season for it not to make a difference, but who knows as the season goes on. Um, but there you go. You know, there's two games that we've played uh, today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it, do give the video uh, a thumbs up and a like. Um, as I say, we do uh, have a Discord as well if you want to come and have a bit of a conversation about uh, how this, the series is going. Uh, the link is in the description below. Uh, of course, as I say, please do subscribe to the channel. We have some more videos coming up uh, very, very soon as well. So as I say, I hope you enjoyed it. I uh, hope to see you soon. Uh, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you very shortly for the next episode of The Journeyman.